How's it going everyone? Previously we learned how we could define a simple trait in Rust. Now it's time we learn how we can use traits as constraints on generic functions. To get started, I'm going to be showing you how you can use trait bounds on parameters. And for this, we have two forms, one which will be the shorthand and one which is just explicit generics with bounds. So let's get started by implementing the shorthand syntax. And we're going to use the same trait from the previous lesson, the one called summary, which has one function called summarize. Now, right below, we can type in public function notify, and here we want to pass in an item, and we're going to use this syntax, the implement syntax. And what we want to do here is implement this trait. And then right below, we're going to print that there is some breaking news, and we're going to use the method from summary on this item. And it's important that we define this item to implement the summary trait, otherwise this will not work. Next, we're going to use the explicit generic syntax, which is the long form of doing this. So let's type in public function notify, and since this is the long form, I will just add that there. And here we're going to define a generic, which will be called t, and that's going to implement the summary trait and the item is going to be a reference to t. Then with this generic type, which has the summary constraint, we can type in item and say that this is a reference of t. Then inside here, we can paste in the exact same line of code. And both of these will end up doing the same thing. And doing this with multiple parameters is also quite straightforward. All we need to do is define item one and item two and say that both of them implement summary. For the long form, it might end up being even more convenient because we can use the same generic type on both of the items. Now to use these, we need to create a struct and then implement the summary on that struct. So it's going to look like this. Here we have a struct which is called blog post and that contains a title and an author. Then here we're implementing the summary for the blog post. And this right here turns any blog post we create into a compatible parameter or argument for all of our notify functions. So now in main, we're going to create two different structs, one called post one and one called post two. With these blog posts, we can type in notify and we can pass in a post or it has to be a reference to a post such as post one. And that will work perfectly fine. As you can see, when we run this, it's going to say breaking news, Rust traits by Alice. And the other functions will work exactly the same way. If we use the long form, we just need to pass another reference to a struct that implements the summary trait. And for the ones that take multiple items, we just need to pass in multiple compatible items, such as post one and post two. All we're doing here is following the signature that we defined in our function. Up next, I want to show you how you can combine multiple trait bounds using the plus operator syntax. Sometimes, you need a type to implement multiple traits to use methods from all of them. Using the plus operator, we can achieve that. For example, maybe we want to use both the summary trait and the display trait on this item. To do that, we would first have to import the display trait from the standard library, and we would have to put this in parentheses. Then right after that, we can say summary plus display. And that will require this item to implement both the summary trait and the display trait. And since this also requires the display trait, we can now print it normally. If we want to do this using generics, we can do that easily just by adding the plus operator to the generic. And then everything else will work as normal. Now to use these, we're going to create an article and we're going to implement the summary trait on the article. And something else we want to do is go all the way back up to the imports and use format from the standard library. And the reason we're doing this is because we also need to implement the display trait for the article. So here we're defining how we want to format it using the display trait. Then right inside main, we can create an article which will be called understanding traits by Charlie. Then we can use notify, pass in an article and run the code. And this is what we're going to get as an output. Now, if we use the generic version, it's going to give us a syntax error because I ran this in Python. But if we run this in Rust, we should get the exact same output. 
since both of these approaches are practically the same.